Another question, priesthood of the Old Testament was supposed to end by our Lord Jesus Christ coming. So why do we still have priests? Wait a minute, no one said that the priesthood should stop by the coming of the Lord. Actually, he became the head of the new priesthood of the New Testament. So he never proclaimed that the priesthood as is finished and no priesthood after him. And you know, simply when you go back and see how he chose the apostles to be the heads of the church, this was the priesthood of the New Testament. So why Christ chose the 12 apostles and the 70 disciples if he will, you know, change the program of priesthood and he will never allow anyone to be a priest. And he gave these disciples the authority to forgive the sin and to lead the people in their way to salvation. So when you study the gospel and the book of Acts and the uh, epistles written by St. Paul and others, you will find out that the priesthood in the New Testament is very clear. And the writings of the fathers of the early church were very much convincing that the priesthood changed from the style of the Old Testament to the style of the New Testament. You know, they are not offering animals as sacrifices. Our offering is the body, the holy body and holy blood of the Lord. That's the only offering we offer on our altar. And when you study the history of the church, you will find out that all the early churches had altars and had garments for the priests and all the writings, including, you know, the idea of priests baptizing the people. So not all people allowed to baptize others or to give them communion or to guide them in their way spiritually. That's the work of the priests in the New Testament.